Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Roy Nemer of MundoAlBisalaste.com, and welcome to another video. This time around, we are going to talk about Argentina's two number nines, Julian Alvarez and Lautaro Martinez. Uh, we're going to talk about can they start together with Argentina because they have in the past, they have played together in the past uh, on the pitch. Uh, who will potentially start in the World Cup qualifiers versus Paraguay and Peru? We're going to take a look at their numbers with the national team and even kind of compare a little bit who's been in the starting 11 for Argentina most recently since the World Cup and as well as their current club forms with their respective clubs, Inter and Manchester City. So let's just get to it and we'll kick things off with Lautaro Martinez, who to a certain degree I kind of understand, but he has been getting a bad rep from a lot of fans. And it's because of his poor run of goal-scoring forms. And this all started at the World Cup. And I think a lot of people maybe tend to forget that he was playing injured at the World Cup for Argentina. Uh, despite the fact that he was getting himself into goal-scoring positions, he really was. Uh, and I think that's a, a very good thing. You know, he was unable to score. And if we take a look at Lautaro Martinez and his track record with Argentina, it's almost like a before the World Cup and after the World Cup. So Lautaro has 20 goals in 49 matches for Argentina. Under Lionel Scaloni, he played one match uh, before that uh, with uh, the previous coach, Jorge Sampaoli. But under Scaloni, uh, he has 20 goals in 38 matches before the World Cup. And then uh, his longest goal-scoring drought at the time were five games. So the longest he ever went without scoring a goal for Argentina was five matches, and that was in 2019. Now, if we cut to the World Cup, he has gone 10 matches without a goal for Argentina. His last goal actually came versus Honduras uh, right before the World Cup. And if we count the last match before uh, the 2022 World Cup, which is against Jamaica, where Lautaro did not score, although he did assist, and uh, you might be curious as to who he assisted, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, that would make it 11 matches for um, Lautaro Martinez without a goal for Argentina. So 11 matches in total, that is 488 minutes. So just under 5.5 games for Argentina without a goal. Um, I am of the idea that I'm sure once Lautaro gets his goal, the floodgates are going to open up. Uh, we saw it before the Copa America two years ago. He was kind of struggling a little bit to find a goal. Once he did, he started to score. And then we saw his form as well in the World Cup qualifiers. So I have no doubt he just needs that little bit of luck. Maybe it's a mental thing. I don't know. Uh, but I think he just needs a little, a little bit of luck, get that goal, and he's going to be firing on all cylinders, uh, so to speak. If we take a look at Julian Alvarez, and this is a little bit different. So Julian has seven goals in 23 matches, four goals at the World Cup. That's where he really exploded for Argentina. But he's kind of also been on a goal-scoring drought as well. He has no goals in five matches since the World Cup. Six, if you include the World Cup final versus France. His last goal was after that majestic run by Lionel Messi versus Croatia. And that equals up to either, depending on how you want to look at it, 259 minutes without a goal, that's 2.8 matches, or 362 minutes without a goal, which is 4.2 matches, or 4.02 matches, if you want to include the World Cup final versus France. So two strikers for Argentina in very good form for their club, and we're going to get to that in just a little bit. But both are struggling to find the back of the net uh, for the world champions. And since the World Cup, Alvarez has started three games and Lautaro has started two games. So right after the World Cup, uh, Julian Alvarez started versus Panama. The next game, Lautaro Martinez started versus Curaçao. And then the match versus Australia, neither of them started. So Lautaro was actually not even part of that squad uh, due to his foot injury. He was getting uh, rested. He was not picked, and Alvarez came on as a substitute during that match. The next game, a couple of days after that versus Indonesia, it was Alvarez that started. 
And then in the World Cup qualifiers in September last month, Lautaro started the first game versus Ecuador and Julian Alvarez started the second game versus Bolivia. So we're practically split here, three to two. And if we look at the pattern, just based off the pattern, you would think that Lautaro might start because it, we're going Lautaro Julian, Lautaro Julian. But, you know, with Scaloni, you could never really tell. And personally, I think that's a good thing. Now, I mentioned earlier about how, uh, you know, uh, Lautaro gave an assist in the match versus Jamaica. And that assist was actually to Julian Alvarez because in that match, Messi did not start. Scaloni started both of them. Alvarez scored, Lautaro assisted. So we have seen this in the past. And, you know, a lot of the questions that come up is, can they play together? Will they play together? Are we ever going to see it? Well, one, we have already seen it. And two, I think... You know, if ever Argentina are somehow down a goal at, or an, and need a goal, need something, then I think we might end up getting both of them on the pitch at the same time. The other way, or the other reason that I could see them both starting is if Lionel Messi does not start. If Messi is not on the pitch, can we get both of them on the pitch at the same time? Can we get you know, a 3-5-2 or a 5-3-2 formation of sorts? Is it going to be maybe a 4-3-3 with Julian playing that hybrid, you know, a little bit on the wing, cutting a little bit inside? Because he has been playing almost a hybrid, you know, striker forward slash midfielder, attacking midfielder role with Manchester City under Pep Guardiola. And again, we're going to get to that in just a second as well. So can we get Lautaro and, and Julian starting together, I think so, but I think it's either going to be something where maybe Argentina needs a goal, or like I said, maybe if Messi is not in the starting 11 and Scaloni maybe wants to experiment or try some new, you know, some something on the pitch, that might be a possibility. Um, I've seen some comments, and if you're a longtime fan of the national team, you'll probably know where I'm going with this, but I've seen some, I've seen some comments about how you know, in the past, Argentina have had some coaches or specifically a coach who refused to play the, the main two number nines, the main two strikers that Argentina had at the time. And that coach being uh, Marcelo Bielsa when Argentina had Gabriel Batistuta, which is ironically enough, the shirt that I'm wearing, and Hernan Crespo. And Bielsa never really wanted to play them both. And we saw how that turned out, especially at the 2002 World Cup where nothing really went right. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, but that's for an entirely different video on a different day. Uh, so, you know, I've seen some questions, some comments kind of talking about Scaloni and saying, why is he pulling a Bielsa? Why isn't he playing Lautaro with Julian? Well, we have a lot of options. You know, Argentina are really spoiled for choice, especially right now. And if you, we look at their... You know, what's going on their current form with their clubs we'll just take a look at the goals and assists for now and i'll i'll elaborate in just a little bit but if we look at the last six matches uh for lautaro martinez it's one goal versus real sociedad four goals versus salernitana and one goal versus bologna so we're looking at six goals in the last six matches in contrast julian alvarez had two goals versus red star one goal versus wolves and one goal, one assist versus Leipzig. So four goals in his last six. And for Julian, if, if we're looking at maybe who's in a better form, I think both of them. If we're talking just a pure goal-scoring form, I would argue that maybe Lautaro is in better form. If we're talking about overall, I think Julian. Because Alvarez, this season in particular, under Pep at City, is playing such a versatile role. He is absolutely everywhere. And, you know, both of them track back, both of them press between Lautaro and, and Julian, but Julian, it's almost like it's his duty. He has to do it um, because of, of, you know, the way Manchester City play. So Julian maybe has more assists, is developing his game a little bit more. He's not just a pure number nine. He can assist, he can dribble, can hold up the, the play pretty well. Uh, does press, does track back. And, you know, I'm not saying Lautaro doesn't do those things, 
but maybe he doesn't do them, especially this season, to the extent that Julian does. So between those two, who's in better form? You pick. I'll let you guys decide. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and let me know in the comments as well, who would you like to see start in the next game or in the next two games in the World Cup qualifiers? Would you go with Lautaro? Would you go with Julian? Or would you go with both? Let me know in the comments. For me, I would be happy to see both uh, just because it has been, you know, it's rare. It really, really is rare. Uh, and I think both of them on the pitch can do well. And I think both of them can, you know, complement each other uh, very, very well on the pitch and kind of rotate in terms of maybe who's going to be uh, really playing up front and who can maybe track back a little bit and play a little bit behind. Uh, but that's that's for me. If not, I'd be happy with giving them both a chance in the starting 11. One starts versus Paraguay, one starts versus Peru. But having them both on the pitch could be fun to watch. Let me know down below, uh, whether you're watching us on YouTube or watching us on Twitter or X, let me know in the comments, let me know in the replies, who starts for you. Um, and at the same time, we are going to be doing a live discussion um, after the match versus Paraguay on Thursday, or depending on where you are in, in the world, could be on Friday. Uh, but we are going to be doing a live discussion over on YouTube. I'm going to try and see how we can get that on Twitter or on X. But uh, it's going to be on YouTube and you could follow us there as well. Once more, thank you everybody for watching. My name is Roy Nemmer of MundalBislase.com. Thank you for watching, everybody.